welcome back trading fam this is trader z as you can see i've gone into a terrible trade but um yeah look at that practice account balance yeah it's pretty high from the last time you saw me and i'm going to go into my close trades to show you that i didn't do anything hanky panky um i think it was earlier this morning when i was trading i'm not sure when I was trading off camera but I made some horrible mistakes and then I caught myself back with the retracement which is what I'm gonna have to do here so okay yeah right here is where I lost it I I don't know how I got to 235 but I traded it two times and lost so I had to go into a retracement I lost the 1843 and then I won the last retracement which was 4491 what that's what put me so high up there so that was the story of I think this morning or yesterday uh, 11th July this is a Saturday well, this is a Sunday now, because it's after midnight. It's 21 minutes past midnight, so. Uh, what should we do here? Let's go out. Let's look at something different. This is the Euro USD. Everything is OTC, because we're on the weekend. And the uh, official markets are closed. So, we're just playing a little OTC. Let's see what will happen. Percentage is pretty high, 87%. So we can't make that pass. We have to get some money on these markets. So this looks like it's gonna, it's going to change. The trend is gonna change. So I'm gonna put 25 up and see if that works. Um, that 25 is the time. Um, 25 minutes past 12 when I put a call trade. So let's zoom in and see what happens. See, it's already getting weak. It's moving away from the bottom Bollinger line. That's what that's what got my interest. And the RSI was kind of going in an upwards position. So that's what um, sparked my, you know, it hit all the alarms to put a call trade there. Let's look at the uh, GBP USD. It's going down. It's been down. It's been under the 50 for a long while. Okay, okay, this is what I wanted to visualize. Look at here when it went here. Oh, sorry. Okay, here when it went under the 50, it went, it was under, 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 under until here. It touched the 50 and bounced off. Equal distance touches the 50 and bounces off. Basically, here. yeah uh like 23 21 11 31 and then 11 53 that would be 22 minutes and then another 20 another 20 odd minutes 27 minutes I think so it, it's like every every 20 odd minutes it touches the 50 and goes back down but it's on a downtrend now so when it starts to pick up it will turn and go to an uptrend very soon because I mean that's a very big downtrend so I don't think it's gonna continue for a good while ah looks like i'm gonna lose this trade so i have to use retracement all the markets here look kind of dead so i'm going to change out a gbp usd no no i'm not going to change out that one i'm going to change this one out euro gbp and i'll try and go for a different one let's go Australian Canadian and let's see yeah, the expiry time is good it's a small expiry time 
the Bollinger Bands are really wide on this one so that means that there's some there's room for a lot of movement so that's a good thing but where is it going three okay yeah, I knew I was gonna lose that one UASD where are you going don't know yet okay Let's go to 127. Okay, a while ago it looked like it was going to turn and go down. But now it looks like it's just another weak green candle. So we're going to wait again here. Go to GBP. It's going down. And very strong. Should I give him that some more time? Made a mistake there, but let's see what happens. Following the trend, and I'm supposed to be waiting until the trend changes. That's what I'm waiting on here. Because whenever it touches that 80 and the trend changes, it changes violently. So that's what I'm waiting on here. Touch the 80, violent change. Then I can then I can win some back some money on this violent. And on this violent change, you know, fifteen seconds. Where am I? Not in a good place. It looks like it is going to do it, but I'm not sure if I lost my chance. Zoom in a little closer and see what's happening. Okay, I won one. That's good. And it looks like I'm, I might win the second one too. I win back all of my lost monies. Why I traded put here is because it's it's too close to that top Bollinger line and the Bollinger and the, and the Bollinger line is going down so it's closing the range that the price has to move so it's most likely going to it's most likely supposed to move down because it has more space going down because the top Bollinger band is not moving in an upwards direction so okay okay don't worry I have something for you Come on, another win. And I've retraced it already, so I'm stuck with 1700 in there. 1721. Sounds like a year. By the way, I would never go this high with my real account, because this would be $172. I, I don't think I would ever trade a $172 trade. But as you can see, it's going in the right direction. All I needed to do is just drop like that rock in water, you know. I needed to drop, but it's going up. Why are you going up? 
you're so close to that Bollinger line and it's not going down I mean it's not going up so your price cannot go really higher than that Bollinger line so why is it going up I mean I caught it at a good place it's going up it's 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 it, it, it's turned it's bent that Bollinger line it's going up oh my god I'm gonna lose this big big trade I'm gonna win the little ones and lose this big trade oh my gosh come on come on stay in there stay in there stay in there and just drop under my mark please <laughs> Because all indicators say that it should be going, it should be going down. It's bent the Bollinger Band button. Oh man, it's really? Let's go into retracement. Four thousand it is. Four seconds to go. That's a big disappointment. Big, big, big disappointment. Let's look at something else. Nothing here. Nothing here. We're stuck on the Australian CAD right now. <laughs> Where nothing is happening. I can't trade on this because it's so I mean it looks weak right now and then it just gives you a big red candle out of nowhere see I can't I can't trade with confidence on this GBP USD there's a lot of 87 markets out there let's look for something okay it's only a few open let's go on USD CHF let's see what's happening load up my templates okay this looks like if it touches the 50 it's gonna come back down lower highs lower lows yeah so i'm gonna wait on it i'm just gonna put up my time as well 37 because this candle is gonna finish at 33 so i'll have no not 37 36 Why I traded put there is because the basically the whole pattern the whole pattern from here the downtrend it it goes down takes a breath goes down takes a breath goes down takes a breath and then here it was supposed to go back down so that's why I gave it the the time you know the the, the little leeway of time so that it can move around so um and the rsi tells the tale here touch the 50 went down here touch the 50 went down here touch the 50 hopefully it keeps going down stay in stay with the pattern you know because i have a lot of money riding on this and i need my money i need my money 
to go at least into profit so that you know my strategy is not my strategy sorry our strategy is working you know I took out the stochastic which was kind of confusing me some trades are not going the way they should I stopped looking at the investor segment or sentiment not really stop looking at it but I only I don't really use it as a main indicator unless I'm on euro USD it's very accurate on euro USD if you follow it uh, but I mainly use the RSI RSI strength is one of the most important things to follow as well as the Bollinger Bands you know without the Bollinger Bands you wouldn't know where price is expected to stop you know where it's expected to you know rise to and stop or fall to and stop I wouldn't be able to make such trades like this without the RSI and the, and the, and the Bollinger Bands helping me out a little so I really rely on them as more I really rely on them a lot when I'm trading but now look at that it's like it has a homing beacon on my money you want to make me lose all of my money on camera you you want to embarrass trader Z uh, why you want to embarrass trader Z with the last minute you're going to make me lose my money huh no Thirty seconds to go. Here goes the fall signal. Not a very big one. And it doesn't really well. I'm not gonna talk now because I've lost a trade on the last second. So I'm not gonna talk now. There we go. Lost it on the last second. <clears throat> and we're going into uh, what's it called? Um, consolidation. So, oh man. gonna risk it risk it I want to go with a put trade but it's gone down so far already in the in the little space that it has uh. all right let's look at something else Come on. look at something else your USD I'm gonna get rid of you for Euro JPY and it loaded with my templates great this uptrend is very crazy but what I noticed from the pattern is that every time it touches the top ball in Japan to touch it with either the body or the weak and next two are very weak so we're gonna look here if this one touches it and the next one touches it and if the other two are weak I can catch it there and not and not um, lose 13,000 oh lord oh lord still in still in no man's land and this one's even worse And I really wanted to go put there. I'm not reading the markets properly. Okay, two have touched the top Bollinger Band. We're waiting for the next candle to form.
I am officially shaking. Yeah, Trader Z is actually shaking in his boots right now because I've put up a bag of money. Like I robbed the bank to put this trade in and it's going the wrong way. Oh man. Well, it's going the right way now, but I'm not going to celebrate till we win. Mm -mm. Till it's confirmed a win. RSI is saying low strength. 13 seconds to go. It's rising. It's a draw. Oh man, I won. Oh lord, the magic of retracement. The magic of retracement. Hurry up and put this back to $10 before I make a $13,000 trade by mistake. Yes, the strategy is real, people. You might get in trouble like me, but retracement always saves your butt in the end. Oh man, that was a series of losses. To reach that far, it was a big series of losses. But as you see, the strategy comes out for you in the end. As long as you have a, a balance, an account balance that can take the hits, you will make it through. Look at that. Look at that. 60,000. Where was I at the beginning of the video? Like 54 or something like that? 54,000? That's how much, re that's how much, that's how powerful retracement is. But your account will take a big hit. Remember, low risk, low rewards. High risk, high rewards. That was a very high risk move. Very high risk. And it turned into a big reward. Right now, I can easily, easily, easily go with a, well, a call trade here. With $10. <laughs> yeah, because the look at the RSI. You know, it's been above the 50 for a while. And then it just barely touches the 50 and makes that big flat. You know that it's going to change. So give it a little time, one or two minutes, you know, and then it'll most likely follow it. It's not 100% strategy. You've seen me lose following the RSI. It's, it's not 100%, and that is where retracement comes in. That is where retracement comes in. Retracement will give you a lot more percentage win for your least percentage um trading so what that means is like if you put in two trades and lose the third trade which is 33 percent 33.3 percent will give you a higher win will give you more money than 33 percent this is a big loss oh my god what was i thinking it was closer to the top ball in japan oh man but anyway, that's just ten dollars retrace. Um, uh, my account can take these hits, so I'm not really, you know, worried. The only thing I'm worried about is my space on my on my SD card. It's about to, you know, it's about to get finished. And I never want to leave the video without a win. I want to win on the last trade, you know. Sets your mentality for the next session. So that's a loss. Hmm. You see right there, you see right here, how it just crossed the 50 and kept going? That is a move that I've won a lot of money on, but I didn't follow it because I was too busy looking at the losing trade. <clears throat> so there's a lot of things that can distract you, even when nothing is distracting you. You know, you're trading, you're supposed to be looking, but you're not looking at the right things. Like right here, this looks like it's going to go up soon. Uh, maybe it'll, maybe it'll, it'll rise, maybe, because it's going under the bottom Bollinger line, but, oh no, it's bending it. That's a, that's a powerful candle. But we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I'm on the right amount of, I'm on the right amount. Not, it's too powerful.
it looked too powerful to me like the candle after it is gonna finish weak because that one was so big you know so but I did give it a lot of time to kill me I should have traded on this specific candle that's not farming now but let's see what happens let's see what happens set the retracement from now 26 minutes into the video I hope they keep getting weaker like this one that gives me a chance at winning that trade but I did give it a lot of time to kill me because it is going down why the hell did I trade up you know but it's in a good position so far you know the JPY always moves drastically so <clears throat> Maybe it can move drastically in my favor. Okay, we're in a good position going into the last candle. If we if the price stays there, that means that the next candle will form weak. So let's see. That looked promising a little while ago, but now it's looking horrible. So I set my retracement already. So let's look at something else before that traumatizes me. Okay. USDCHF Give it some breathing room and go down. Oh lord. So 78 times 3, huh? Horrible, horrible trades. Reading the market all wrong. But that just shows you that Trader Z is a human being. You know, I just go off of what I see.
Why don't you just take your breath already? My lord. The market needs to take its breath. Look here. Four candles, breath. One candle, breath. Four candles, breath. Four, five, six candles, no breath. Take a breath, man. Take a breath. We're going into 31 minutes and I'm waiting for this market to, you know, inhale, you know, take a breather. You've been climbing this big green mountain, just take a little rest. <clears throat> two candle rest, you know, take a two minute break. But it's not taking a break, it wants to break the record. Alright, let's look at something else. Watching that is depressing. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, this is the Euro JPY. As I said, drastic turns, drastic movements on the JPYs. They move crazy like <clears throat> 13 seconds on this. Oh, I might, I might win something. Two seconds, one, zero. Yeah, I want something. 136, I won all the three trades on that one, boy. <laughs> Trader Z in the building. Yeah, but I'm still under my profit. I'm still under my profit that I just won. I'm supposed to be at 60,000 something. That's because I put in a massive trade on this. $658. And it's looking great, mate. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. And let's not lose it. JPY, do not drop that market on me. With your drastic, crazy-like movements. Just keep going in that direction. I don't know. Take some Ritalin and sit in the corner. And stay right there. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. It's a winner. 61,206. That would be 5,120 dollars. 60 no yeah that would be 5120 dollars 62 cents yes so trader z actually figured out the code you cracked the code on the last few trades i'm gonna put this back to 10 trading farm you know what to do trader z loves you like subscribe share I'm always here trying to teach the knowledge, you know. If you want to link me up on Telegram, it's Trader Z. You know, just look for Trader Z on Telegram and you'll see my little logo that I have on YouTube. And you'll be straight in contact with me. You can call me anytime, you know, any, any, anytime, 24-7. You can call me and ask me any kind of question with trading. I don't do a lot of Forex. But I do a lot of options now. But I have Forex experience. So you can ask me any question you want. And I'll try and get back to you in the videos. I'm not going to answer you same time. Because it might be very late where I am. You know, I might your call might wake me up. But I don't mind your call waking me up. I just won't be able to access your answer, you know. At the same time. If I have to do a little research. You'll see them in the videos. And I'll actually name the video the answer to your question and your name okay uh, anybody who wants to sponsor trader z my paypal is in the description you know so you can send me anything five cents one cent if everybody pitches in we can go in with a hundred dollars very very soon so I, all i need is 49 percent from you guys and i'll put in the 51 and we can go in and we experience live you know and i'll show you what's up so this is Trader Z, and I'm out.